hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel happy wednesday i hope you guys are having a lovely day so sorry about my hideous <laughs> face and my hair you know i thought i'd put in a lot of effort basically we woke up this morning didn't go to the gym which is great. We basically woke up a little bit too late. I'm watching a Christmas film, by the way. It's so cheesy, but I love cheesy Christmas films because they're just the best. Um, yeah, we basically woke up late to go to the gym. And if we went to the gym, we would have gone for like 20 minutes. We were like, what's the point? We were up, we brushed our teeth, got dressed, and then we were like, Why? what's the point? Because we're just not gonna have a good workout. So we got back into bed, cuddled, um, and then Bradley went to work, and then I have had really bad period pains today. So I've just been like taking it easy, and I was saying to Bradley, I feel like I'm, I think because I'm in a creative industry and I have always been very creative, there's always like two kinds of people. You're, very, you're either very creative or you're not. <laughs> that might be wrong, but from people that I know, and like in school and stuff like that, I was always one of the like more creative people. And I feel like I'm in a creative funk at the moment. A writer's block, basically. <laughs> I'm not a writer, but that's what I feel like. And then I, I'm really questioning myself and my content at the moment and just feel like everything that I do is rubbish and I feel like no one enjoys my content and I could be completely wrong and making this up in my head, but yeah, just been basically thinking that I'm really bad and it's hard at this time of year because it's my favorite time. And I don't, I think that's also another thing, like it's a lot of pressure to make it really like fun and enjoyable, like every video because it's such an amazing time of year and I love it. But then I work from home and not every video can be like that. So yeah. I've just been down to myself a lot, but it's fine. I also think every time like I'm on my period and like a little bit just before, I have this weird thing where like I overthink way more than usual and it's the strangest thing. I don't know if anyone else has that, but like I'm, it's like all my sen my senses, <laughs> all my emotions are heightened. So it's weird, but anyway, I got up this morning, made my ginger and lemon. It's Tuesday, I usually make it on a Monday, but I didn't have any time to make it yesterday. So made it today. So that feels good, it's in the fridge at the moment. Um, and it is quarter past 12, so I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna make some lunch today and I'll show you guys what I'm making in case any of you needed some kind of inspo. Um, I also put my By Terry Balm de Rose on this morning, literally maybe eight o'clock and it's still shiny. It's like the best thing ever. If you're looking for something to like help your lips, try the By Terry Balm de Rose. It's so good. I'm also so cold today, like extra cold. Um, and <laughs> my hair is so greasy. Me and my mum, um, she's coming around tomorrow and she's refitting my taper extensions, which are the Foxy Locks ones. Um, it's time for a refit. And I didn't want to wash it yet because we're going to put the solution in it in the morning. And I thought there's no point, but it's so greasy that I've had to do a plait. <laughs> it's too frizzy to do a ponytail. I mean, I could have done a bun, but it's fine. It hurts less. Um, but anyway, lunchtime. I haven't really told you guys what I want to film today. I just wanted to film. I just, I just, I think I'm just going to film a cozy day. Me and Brady are going to go to the gym later. We're going to cook dinner together um, later on as well. So it's just a cozy, festive, Christmassy day very realistic um, and I'm going to try and be productive and I'm going to show you some things that I've been like buying at the moment just to help. I also have a massive bag um, that I got from Primark and I was debating whether to do like a Primark haul or not and I think I might just add it in this video. What do we think? Should I add it in this one or do it in a haul? I think I might just add it in this one because it's not big enough to do like a dedicated haul. Um, so yeah, anyway, lunchtime. <laughs> But I'm getting 
So this is today's lunch. I have half a packet of rice and I've put it into this Tupperware so I can have this for my lunch tomorrow. Um, and then I done half chicken each, loads of broccoli and then the teriyaki sauce. I've just put half on here because when I reheat this one tomorrow, I'll just reheat the sauce then um, and then put some spring onions over the top. It is so delicious, so filling, really tasty. I and mean, it's just really nutritious so i really recommend trying this if you guys haven't and looking for healthier options it's really good to like meal prep for the week as well um you can get these like little tupperwares the glass tupperwares these ones are my absolute favorite they're from amazon um and do you know i feel like with tupperware a lid goes missing here and there and you're constantly like replacing it this one you spend a teeny bit more money i mean it's not even like expensive expensive but the set that i got it wasn't too bad i'll try and link it down below and honestly you can't you literally don't lose anything it's amazing because they're all like different shapes and sizes as well so it makes it so much easier this is also like a vacuum lid so when you pop it on it kind of like suctions um, and then it goes in the fridge. You can pop them in the freezer if you want. Like it's so easy and versatile and really good for meal prepping and for the weeks ahead and stuff like that. So I've got my lunch for tomorrow and then this is gonna be my lunch for today. So I've just done 3K on the treadmill downstairs. We have like a foldable one. If you follow my Instagram, you'd see because I always post stories of it. Um, and I like to do it in the day, just when I'm like sitting down. Do you know when you feel like you need to get rid of some energy? Um, and it's been really gloomy. Literally, as I've sat down, it is blue sky right now, which is crazy because it was literally like the gloomiest day earlier. But it feels good to do 3K and then we're also gonna go to the gym later. So I'm just gonna get in as much exercise as possible and drink as much water as I can. I need to find my air up bottle because I really miss taking it. I found loads of pods the other day in my drawer. So I need to find my air up bottle because I drink so much more when I have that. <sighs> Obviously, this isn't sponsored. Um, I'm just gonna change my battery because this one is flashing. So annoying. If you're a YouTuber, you will know how annoying it is when you just put your camera on a tripod, then your battery flashes. Then you gotta take it all off and change it. But <laughs> one second. Okay, that's better. I've also popped my hair up. So it's currently very much out my face. If you watched my last video, <laughs> you will know about this bit of hair. So let's just not talk about that bit of hair because I just can't. My cousin commented on that video saying that bit of hair is iconic. And I kind of agree. Um, anyway, I went into Primark last... Well, it wasn't even last week. It was like... I went into Primark... What day did I go to Primark? Friday. Um, and I wanted to show you guys everything I got. How happy are we with the Christmas bags? I feel like they should have done them in like October, November time because they're just so cute. Just a disclaimer because I do obviously a lot of hauls and stuff on my channel and I feel like at the moment especially I'm having to do a lot of disclaimers but I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. I'm not trying to offend anyone when I show you guys these hauls. I don't keep everything, like if I do a massive haul and I'm like, oh, I think my followers would love this, I don't keep it all. Like, especially around Christmas time, I'll give a lot of it as presents or in my head I'll think, oh, that's a really good present, but I'll show it in the haul kind of thing. Um, I also give a lot of my stuff to my sisters, my family, my friends, charities. Obviously, I just don't show it all. So to you guys, it kind of looks like I've got this secret, you know, I've got this secret place where I store all my stuff, but it's not like that. And I just literally went into Primark thinking, oh, that's nice, I'm gonna get that. Oh, that like, just a nice shop. So that is what I've done. So if this offends you, I'm very sorry, but I just wanna shop at Primark and show you guys the new and stuff because the people that watch my channel and actually enjoy me and my content and my family and everything like that are just the sweetest. Like, I love you guys so much. I feel like we all need these. We all need these in our lives. These are so cute. They were six pounds, little reindeer slippers. Basically, I had one similar that I got, I think maybe last month or the month before from Primark. Came home one day, Luna chewed off Rudolph's nose. <laughs> I jinxed it because I said to Bradley like a few days before, I was like, when Luna was a puppy, she always used to chew like, cause it was obviously like, a, it's like a little pom pom as Rudolph's nose. I said to Bradley, when she was a puppy, she would have loved that, came home jinxed it didn't I? I I literally was like great and then we went into Primark and I saw these and I actually prefer these ones because they're like proper slippers this I saw this I think Perry had it Perry Sean I think it's Perry Sean or Perry Sean 
I don't know how to pronounce that, but I saw this on her story. This was £12. I literally just saw one on its own, um, and it's a poncho, and she said that ponchos are back. And do you know what? I've loved ponchos for years, and I couldn't agree more because I love ponchos. This is honestly the softest thing. If you follow me on Instagram, I do a lot of reels. I will definitely film a try-on of some stuff that I've got. Um, new in from Primark um, and then I'll do a little try and haul for you guys and then I can show you guys in detail I really like doing try and hauls on reels because I feel like you get to see the outfit properly um, I also picked up this cardigan this was £16 I've got this in black I got this in a medium so you can wear it as a cardigan or you can wear it as a dress I feel like the camera's making it lighter but it's a little bit darker is it going to show the true colour? I don't know, but I feel like it's a little bit darker in person. It's just a lovely, like, gorgeous colour. Like I said, you can wear it as a dress. Or you can just wear it as a cardigan and, like, completely unbutton it for £16. It's amazing, and I love that colour. I got this skirt. So this was £12, and it's just this gorgeous chocolate, chocolate kind of leather skirt. I really want to get into mini skirts. I just don't, I feel like they just don't suit me the ones i've had i'm a bit like oh it's kind of out my comfort zone but i'm really trying to get into it and just change my fashion up a little bit and i think with knee-high boots even like a chunky cardigan and obviously just like a really simple bodysuit or something will look lovely so i picked that up this is for my cousin and i'm seeing her on saturday so this video is going to go up before so i can't show you guys this but I picked her up something as a present and I was meant to give it to her when I saw it the other day and I love it. <laughs> I'm not going to show you guys. I'm sorry. Sneak peek. <laughs> because she watches my videos. But that's a surprise. I mean, I'll give you a hint. It says Paris on it. So I feel like I didn't realise how into like the chocolate browns I am this year until looking at everything. This is a really cute pom-pom hat. £4. Love it absolutely love it i do feel like because i am brunette sometimes when i wear chocolate brown colors it makes my hair look a bit red does anyone else feel like that sometimes it brings out weird tones i don't have a plain black scarf i actually have all the other colors and patterns and shapes you can think of but i don't have a plain black one so i picked up this six pounds i've seen loads of people embroider is that the right word <laughs> embroider things like this so if you're into that kind of stuff and and i feel like you could even use like a cricket and the iron on and like iron on someone's initials or something do you know what i mean like i feel like that's a really good christmas present like personalize it um but anyway i needed a back scarf here's me and my creative brain like thinking of all the other ways pair of leggings three pounds <laughs> you cannot go wrong with primark leggings although i do feel like when the more you wash them the bigger they get does anyone else feel like that very frustrating cute little scrunchies because you guys know me i love my scrunchies this little i wear it as a bralette but i think it's a top this was £3.50 i wear these on a daily i'm not gonna lie to you anytime i'm at home i will wear one of those instead of a bra because why would i put myself through the pain of wearing a bra when i'm working from home it just doesn't seem, just doesn't seem logic to me. How cute are these mittens? Can we even deal? Five pounds, five pounds. They have some like this on H&M, I think at the moment. I'm really like in love with these. Five pounds, oh, they are really soft. But I love this, I just feel like mittens are just, I feel like mittens are back mittens are back and the last few bits i feel like would it be a primark haul if i didn't stock up on my favorite pajamas the answer is absolutely not <laughs> i feel like it'd be illegal for me if i went to primark and didn't pick up a pair of pajamas so here we are um <laughs> got this pair 14 pounds and then this pair is 13 pounds how cute are they so two very cute pairs of pajamas I love them. They're called boyfriend pyjama sets. What does that mean? Why are they boyfriend pyjama sets? I just really love them. Um, and then the last thing I got was this woodland scented candle. How gorgeous is that? Does this smell nice? 
Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, I might burn that today, actually. I feel like I need to wear these, like, ASAP, basically. These are the softest pyjamas. These are such a gift for Christmas because they look, like, nicely packaged. Just take the price tag bit off, which, to be fair, is one of those, like, peely things. So it kind of comes off easily, you know? And then that's just such a good present for Christmas, so... This is a really like cute and simple Primark haul, but it's one of my favourites because I just kind of went like, oh, I really like this, I'm going to get this, like, la, 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 not really thinking too much of like hauls and stuff. So it was a really enjoyable trip. It was very busy though. I've also just received a massive box of stuff from Zara and H&M and my next haul on YouTube is going to be a massive Zara and H&M haul. So I'm really excited for you guys to see that because I picked up some really nice stuff for ages for H&M. Like I always buy bits here and there, but for a while, I feel like I've been looking online and not really found anything and thought, no, I'm just going to wait. And then it's like one day, everything that I like comes in and I'm like, okay, I guess we're buying everything. But I do take stuff back that obviously I don't really like in the end or doesn't fit me or anything, but I'm excited for that video. Um, but anyway, I am going to clean this up go downstairs um, and then catch up on some emails and stuff and then what's the time the time is currently three o'clock and Bradley will be home at like quarter to six and then we'll be going to the gym and then cooking and stuff so I'm gonna show you guys sorry about the towels and washing and stuff I'm gonna show you guys our foldable treadmill because um, I've been getting loads of questions on it I bought it maybe I think I feel like it was in lockdown or something it was something like that but anyway I literally just move the rug out the way and then I have an extension lead there I watch telly I was watching Angel Falls Christmas <laughs> which is probably the cheesiest Christmas film I've ever seen but it's really funny I saw snippets of it on TikTok and I was like oh my god that's just I love cheesy Christmas films and um, it basically folds and then I need to collapse it anyway so I may as well show you I unplug it <laughs> Can no one judge the odd socks, please? <laughs> um, and then it's got wheels, and I just wheel it. Okay, can you get off here, darling? Oh, you can have a stretchy. So yeah, it literally lives behind this door. Um, it's really discreet, it's really easy. It's just, I need, when I do stuff like that, or buy things like that, I need it to be completely realistic. And that's a purchase that I bought that I couldn't recommend enough. If you struggle to get your steps in, if you have days where you feel unmotivated, I literally put on a film or YouTube or my favourite TV show um, and then I'll just do my steps and then an hour's gone or whatever and I'm like, whoa, it just feels good. Anyway, I don't want this to be a really haul heavy video because I feel like I do a lot of them. <laughs> but I, it's more to say thank you. Guys, I wish you could have seen my face when I opened this and it said Merry Christmas from b and I thought, oh my God, I've made it. I've actually made it in life. Um, and they sent this. Merry Christmas from the B&M team. We know how much you love a beauty haul and pampering yourself from head to toe. So we wanted you to try our fantastic range of B&M Christmas health and beauty gifting items. Um, so they put the price of all of them here. Um, and I thought I could just quickly show you guys them. How good is this makeup set? A lot of them has actually like changed in price. So if you go into store, I think some of them have changed. I saw this when me and Bradley went in and I was so tempted to buy it, but we were just rushing around. But how good is this for like a stocking filler for someone? <laughs> if you watch my B&M haul, they sent me a replacement of the mug that Bradley broke. And I just, I feel so happy. Bradley owes me a new one because he smashed it. And then he was like, don't worry, I'll buy you a new one. And then I sent him this and I was like, wow. 
it really is your week isn't it Bradley <laughs> this is just so cute again a perfect Christmas gift that's why I got it um, and me and I always have like really cool items for like pampering more brushes they've got loads of like revolution makeup hair bits and bobs um, spa things more revolution makeup but my favorite thing of all of this i'm not gonna lie to you guys is this and i'm gonna be keeping this for myself i was gonna give a lot of this away for christmas presents i just cannot wait this is just everything that i want in life and more and i've got i picked it up in b&m and i thought mm, this isn't really something you buy yourself is it i mean i was very tempted to and i just thought no it was hinting to bradley basically and then B&M sent it to me. So thank you so much to B&M. You guys would know that this is a very big deal for me. And it just completely made my day. So I wanted to share it. Also, yeah, let's just not judge my odd socks. <laughs> it was just one of those days, you know. But I wanted to show you guys. So this is my massive jug of lemon and ginger. Um, I get asked how I make this all the time. I always show you guys, but if you do want to see how to make it, I'll link one of the videos where I did make it. But what I do is, these glasses, by the way, are really good for like measuring as well. So I normally like to do just like a little shot above there. So I usually do around this much of the lemon and ginger and then I can pop that back in the fridge. Then I like to mix mine with water. And then also, ice. And this is like an afternoon pick-me-up kind of drink, where if I'm feeling, like even when I'm feeling bloated, if I'm feeling tired, fatigued, you know all like, that I feel like especially when you're on that time of the month or it gets to a certain point in the afternoon like for anyone and you just really like you could have a 10 hour nap or something that like having this will help so much if you google the benefits of ginger and lemon the list goes on and I couldn't recommend it enough this is why I make it once a week um, and it's just part of my daily routine now like if I don't have it or if I don't make it I noticed the biggest difference, even in little things like my skin. It's crazy. I've also ordered more vitamins from my vitamins. Um, I checked my discount code still works. I still love my vitamins. So I think that's actually coming today. So I'll show you guys which ones I got, but I'm just gonna enjoy this, finish watching that film um, and do emails. I've got loads of emails and admin stuff to do. So that is what I'm doing. This is more of like a chilled, working from home day but from working the crazy hours of the black friday week it's it really did burn me out <laughs> because it was like a, it was obviously a little bit before the whole week and then a little bit after so yeah this week i'm just taking it easy and just enjoying my time aren't i missy also before i forget can you guys let me know your favorite christmas film in the comments please i just want suggestions i want your favorite like all-time favorite and then your favourite, like, cheesy Christmas film. <laughs> you know the ones that are on, like, um, Movies 24, you know, like, the really cheesy ones. Or the ones that are on Netflix. Like, let me know your favourite. This one's a really funny Christmas. My new favourite is Falling for Christmas. I love that film with Lindsay Lohan. I think it's brilliant. But anyway, I'm going to have some puppy cuddles and do some emails and you're going to distract me. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What is it? Bradley's now home. It is pesto and bacon mac and cheese. Oh my god. Wow. It wasn't even that many calories, was it? 700. Yeah. That's so good for dinner. It smells insane. Let's dish up. Yeah. Bradley's just made dinner. This is what we've got tonight. Wow. That looks amazing. And then dough balls as well. Delicious. It's gonna be deliciousness. It's on your advent calendars. 
and Bradley clean the kitchen. Wow, how lucky am I? Why are you sad? Tired. Right. Behind the door here, and this is really hard to do with one hand. Do you want me to do it? Do you want me to do it? Okay, you grab the other two. Right, we've got this one, which is my favourite. That one, and then these are the doggy ones. Let's do the dogs first. Number six, found it. Haha, <laughs> I found it first. <gasps> Bradley, you're breaking all the rules. <laughs> sit, wait. Good girl, they love it. Sit, sit. Dotty, sit. Good girl, wait. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you're not even sitting, Luna. There's two each. Where is number six? Where is it? I bet you guys can all see it. Oh, here. Where is number six? Leave the slice for Santa. Right, you have to guess what this one is. Christmas pudding. Yes. Okay. You've got to guess no. what this one is. <laughs> is that a white one? Dark. Found it. My favourite, a classic dairy milk. <laughs> no. Can you help me open it? Can you do that hand? It's like a cracker. I won. <laughs> no. You just <laughs> I actually can't believe you've just done that. I can't believe you've done this. You've just bitten off half. Less than half. This is my current state right now. I'm so excited for my mum to come around tomorrow to help me with my extensions because they've really grown out also i haven't washed my hair in days and it's just a bit gross so i also forgot to mention we didn't go to the gym but i done like a little <laughs> home workout and i done and i done my 10,000 steps and have i closed all my rings my stand run, I've got one hour left on the stand girl. So, it's been all right. We've just, we Bradley came home, he cooked dinner and stuff and he looked at me and was like, should we not go to the gym? Because we'd rather like have a good night's sleep and then go early in the morning. It just seems silly to go, like late in the evening and then also in the morning as well. So, I just done a little home workout, which I mean, is still really good. Um, but now, Bradley has very kindly run me a bath, which I'm so excited to get into. Um, so I'm going to get in there and then afterwards I thought I could do some of my evening skincare with you which I thought would be cute and then I also want to take my vitamins because the package arrived um, just before we were eating dinner so I thought I'm going to wait till after because it's kind of like a little sweet treat. So yeah I've just got out of the shower. I'm going to do my skincare in the bedroom because that's where my evening skincare is but let's open this. If you can hear the dogs in the background, they're eating their dinner. I'm not working with my vitamins, but I have done in the past. So this is not an ad, but it kind of is. So I'll pop a link to them down below. And my code still works, by the way. Um, and you get like a massive discount off. So these are my favourite gummies. So this is the apple cider vinegar gummies. Um, these have chromium in them to support normal blood glucose levels. Hair, skin and nail gummies. Of course, I mean, quite self-explanatory. These are really amazing for that. Multivitamin gummies. And then coconut and collagen. These are really good for your hair and your skin and your nails as well. But like that much more. Like I noticed like a big difference in my skin when I have these. And then if you're unsure with how many you should take. If you're unsure with how many you should take. On the side of each bottle it says per serving. So two. So I'm going to take these now. And they're so tasty. And a really good way to get your vitamins in. It's 
it's like having a treat in the evening but it makes such a big difference to like your insides it's insane but i'm gonna pop a link to my vitamins in the description box down below like i said this isn't sponsored but i have worked with them in the past um, and i love them and i'm just i feel like this time of year especially is like i feel like i need to have more vitamins because i'm not getting enough vitamin d and all that kind of stuff so it's just important um but anyway i'm going to pop these away now in my vitamin drawer so this is my little vitamin basket um, and it just makes it so easy in the mornings or in the evenings whenever I take them that they're all in here I can just quickly grab it take them and then pop it back do you know when I feel like I feel like when they're like a bit scattered everywhere it makes it so much harder so yeah this definitely helps and these are my favorite four so if you're not sure where to start these are where I personally would recommend um, and they always have amazing like deals and stuff on over Christmas and like bundles and stuff like that so yeah i love them i think i got these two in a bundle i really need to turn my face <laughs> we're now in bed hello hi you haven't really been in the vlog much today i have i've been keeping my distance oh why social distancing she just smell. look at that fat spot literally the day i think it was like the day i came in my period it started appearing <laughs> which is great um i've showed you guys this before but in case you wanted to know like a fresh routine that i do i wanted to show you my evening skincare routine so i cleanse my skin with the foreo luna 3 and then i use the nip and fab um cleanser i'll pop it down below and that's literally all i do and then if i like wear a lot of makeup in the day before that i'll use an oil cleanser at the moment i'm using an elemis one and i love it um, and it just breaks down your makeup and then i'll cleanse after but in the evening so these are the products i use i bought them all from the nip and fab website um, and this is the night range of all the salicylic stuff um, we also love this bradley how good is this oh it does help us sleep doesn't it yeah we've been using it every single night and it genuinely helps you sleep like genuinely so if you can get hold of this range i highly recommend it um so first off i go in with these which are the salicylic pads these are the night ones and they also have day ones then i use the serum sometimes um if i just want to do it quickly i'll skip that step and just go in with the moisturizer um and then i use this moisturizer and then if i've got a spot i pop this on and as you can see i literally think Oh, please don't tell me they're all gone. I have one left. One left. These are literally my holy grail for when I have spots. They're amazing. So I'm going to pop that on my big chinny spot. So I go with like two to three. Today I'm going to do two. Time for the serum. I like this because it's literally bright pink. We just kind of pop this on. I'm not a pro at skincare, but never miss your neck. That's one thing my mum taught me. Never skip your neck. Um, but yeah, these products have helped my skin so much. And then I'll use a moisturiser. I like a lot because i feel like in the winter my skin gets really dry does your skin get more dry in the winter yeah definitely it's like you need that extra moisture sorry about the worst camera angle <laughs> you're balancing on my pillow and a little box oh my god that is so sore and then any excess i'll always use on my hands always um because I feel like your hands can get old really quickly so that always helps and then kind of let it dry a little bit then I'm going to use my last dot for spot on here I love these because you can't you can never really see where you do the dot for spots but it makes a difference so yeah I'll just leave this for about like at least five minutes before i go to sleep just so it's kind of like sets into my skin 
And then my favourite bit of the night is spraying this. Oh boy. Did it go in your eye? Yeah. Sorry. You're fired. I've just blown my nose, so it's a bit red. But yeah, this is what I do every single night. And then I always have my hair in either a plait or a low ponytail. So yeah, it's time to get prepared to wake up super early tomorrow. Don't we, Bradley? Mm -hmm. early start so i'm gonna leave this vlog here um thank you for watching and good night and anything else you want to say no i just did my skincare as i rubbed in looks like you've got like ice cream on your beard yeah it's just your beard oh jazzing it up <laughs> but yeah thank you for watching we're gonna go to bed now and go to the gym in the morning and just feel nice and productive and then tomorrow i'm getting my hair taken out and refitted and i'm Ooh. so excited literally so excited say good night good night, good night. <laughs>